Welcome to the Tepper School of Business Multimedia Series. For more information on the Tepper School at Carnegie Mellon, please visit us at www.tepper.cmu.edu slash multimedia. And now, here's your selected video. My undergraduate experience at Carnegie Mellon was a perfect foundation for my career success. While I didn't know it while I was going through Carnegie Mellon, um, the analytical, the problem solving, the multidisciplinary approach in having to take liberal arts courses as well as strong math and economics and business courses, that kind of well-roundedness has served me very well in my career. And I think in today's world where we're awash with data, that going from data to analysis to insight to recommendation and being able to do that under uncertainty, it really distinguishes yourself and Carnegie Mellon provided a great foundation in that analytical capability as well as that problem solving ability. You know, in today's online world, building deep customer relationships I think is important to long-term success. We enjoy incredible net promoter scores and continual loyalty and repeat rates at Shutterfly. And it's really about building a relationship that's aspirational and inspirational beyond just transactional, right? Beyond just the rational. So people want to have authentic brands. They want to feel that the customer service is going to be there should there be a problem. They want websites that are intuitive and easy to use. And they want to associate themselves with brands that make them feel better. And so I've been fortunate to be associated with companies like Shutterfly and Raging Bull and eBay and AltaVista, whose brands were aspirational as well as functional. And I think that's the key to success of long-term customer engagement. You know, I have the pleasure of serving on a number of boards, private and public, small and large. And a common theme over the last few years is how do you deal with the uncertainty of the macroeconomic conditions that we're working in? Consumers are looking for a bargain and they're bombarded with marketing messages both online and offline, mobile and tethered to a PC. And so you have to break through and you have to also try to offer them a strong value proposition because they're looking for that bargain. Everything from the Children's Discovery Museum and how do you get um, patrons to come through to global entertainment companies like Caesars to mobile um, gaming companies like Digital Chocolate. How do you build awareness, get trial, develop repeat customers and turn them into evangelical, um, loyal um, ambassadors for your brand? It's a very common theme across those sectors. One of the things I'm most proud of of Shutterfly is our people. At the end of the day, any business is about the talent that you attract, you help grow, and you retain. And Shutterfly, we've been recognized as one of the 25 best mid-sized companies to work for. Um, we've been recognized in the state of uh, North Carolina and Arizona as great companies to work for. And it's really because of our people. They're passionate about um, innovating. They're passionate about delivering quality. And they're passionate about serving our customers well. And so when I'm recruiting, I look for people with high intellectual curiosity, strong problem-solving skills, and a very high internal bar of success. Because I think external motivators are temporary, but internal motivators, the people who really want to go above and beyond their job description, who want to serve the customer really well, even if it's at 3 in the morning, that really comes from within. So I look for people who both academically, personally, and professionally strive for excellence. And then lastly, I look for people who are flexible and adaptable. The world we live in is changing so quickly that all I know is that change will be certain in the future. I just don't know what it'll look like. And so we look for people who embrace that change and are able to quickly adapt to um, different situations and different opportunities. You know, I give students uh, a number of uh, pieces of advice about going on to successful careers. One is follow your heart and your passion. Getting up on Monday mornings is a lot easier if you're excited about what you're doing. Um, second is continually challenge yourself. Go to places that are growing quickly or that are in a turnaround because the opportunity to make change and to have impact is much greater. Um, third is go where the cash register is rung. 
So think about what function and what role you serve in that organization, and is that central to that organization's success? If you're in sales, um, and sales is not a big part of that organization, it's going to be hard to get the resources and the recognition. If you're in an engineering-driven culture and you're a marketing person, it may not be the best place to, uh, for you to uh, thrive. Um, next piece of advice is accentuate your strengths. Um, don't worry about your weaknesses, right? Take what your strengths are and turn them into towering strengths, and that will serve you the best, and it will often serve the company the best. And then last is have a mentor in the company. Sometimes that's your boss, sometimes it's someone who was a couple years ahead of you uh, from the same school, and sometimes it's an executive. But find someone who cares enough to help you navigate the political system, cares enough to invest in your career, and continually gives you additional challenges. You know, at Shutterfly, our mission is to help make the world a better place by sharing life's joy. And it's exciting to work in a company that our products touch our customers' hearts as well as their pocketbooks. And so as you think about your careers and as you exit um, uh, the hallow halls of Carnegie Mellon, go to a place that resonates with your personal uh, ambitions and your personal sense of how to change the world. And Shutterfly has done that for me.